Welcome to Breakthrough. Thank you for joining us. Be sure to click the subscribe button followed by the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Hi, Pastor Everett. Uh, coming at you tonight. I want to uh, uh, just tell you how grateful I am about... Uh, uh, we, we just finished a series called Direction. And uh, it's a four-part series. Uh, we finished it up on Sunday. Uh, really excited about what God is doing uh, in, in all of our lives. And uh, with that, that the, the, it was a four-part message and uh, it's very powerful. Uh, would encourage you to visit our, our uh, YouTube channel at uh, mybreakthrough.online and you can catch up with us on uh, all of those uh, those messages. Actually, we even broke them out into little 10-minute segments for you. Uh, or some of them are 20-minute seg segments, but we broke them down to small little pieces so you could uh, just just go through and pick it apart. Uh, go, uh, we started at north, went to south, east, and west. Um, just very encouraging uh, word, uh, it, it really to help us to become more um, more of a disciple of, of Jesus Christ. And I, I would just encourage you to go there and to uh, uh, review that. Uh, we have uh, uh, people from all over the world that are, are viewing those and are very excited about what God is doing, uh, not only just here, not only just here in my heart, but, but here in the, in the heart of all of those that would, that would listen to, to the Word of God. The Word of God is powerful, and, it, and it's going to come into your life and change you. Uh, actually, we use this verse a lot. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. So you can't even hear what God is saying without taking in the Word of God. So I really would challenge you to, uh, to uh, just to go check that out. Also, while you're there, go to our website at mybreakthrough.online and you can like and subscribe us on uh, Facebook and YouTube. Uh, we would love to, uh, to connect with you on a Sunday morning. Uh, at 10 a.m. at uh, Camp Winnebago here in Rockford, Illinois. You could come and visit with us. Um, uh, we have a powerful time in worship uh, and a great word later on. Uh, and uh, just really excited about all of those things. And uh, so if, if you would, uh, I, I know that it blesses my heart if you even go down below and leave a comment uh, and just, just reach out and connect with us. We, we really love that. And uh, Love to, to have you be a part of not only our, our online uh, experience, but also uh, our, our in-person experience. So let's, let's get right into the Word of God today. I have a, a short message for you. Um, I, I want to look at a verse, uh, two, actually two verses. 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 21 and 22. And uh, I'm, I'm just going to read it, uh, read it right out to you. Uh, you can follow along if you have it. If you don't, uh, uh, maybe you could go back and read it again later and study on it a little bit. It's really a powerful uh, moment in the Scripture. Uh, and let's just I'll just read it. Uh, 1 Kings 18, verse 21, And Elijah came unto all the people and said, How long halt ye between two opinions? With a question mark. <clears throat> if the Lord be God, follow Him. But if Baal... Then follow him. And the pe people answered him, Not a word. Then said Elijah unto the people, I, even I only, remain a prophet of the Lord. But Baal's prophets are 450 men. Let, let me just pray for us. Lord, I just pray that you would touch our heart, our mind, our eyes, our ears, God, that we might see, hear, know, and understand something new from the Word of God today. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I want to talk to you tonight uh, about, uh, it's a very powerful piece of scripture right there. Uh, actually, a very powerful in my own life. Um, uh, I, I, I preached this message uh, a little over a year or so ago. Uh, and it, it literally changed my life. This, these two verses changed my life. And uh, you say, well, that's, that's powerful. I don't understand how it changed your life. But the, the, the powerful part about it is uh, the part that, that I took from this verse is, is to, to not stop what God is trying to do. And so that's the context uh, from, from which we pull this message. But I, I want to give you another word. It's, it's how long, how long. And I don't know, maybe, maybe you're not like me, but have you ever noticed that 
everything we try to do in life takes so long. It like, takes forever. Uh, it's like uh, uh, when you go to get your uh, food at the restaurant, uh, it seems like, I don't know if it's just me, but it seems like the food seems longer and longer before it comes out. And, and, uh, and I, I know they're trying hard to do things, but it's like it's not fast enough for me. Uh, and and I'm, I find myself, uh, you know, wanting to go back and help them cook it because I think I can do it faster. <laughs> but, but often, you know, we, we start out with a good intention in, 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 in a relationship or, or at times we start out with good intentions, but it, it takes too long and so we give up. We, we, we just give up and we, we go do something else or we, we focus on something else. We take our eyes off of what we're trying to do or even what we feel God is trying to do, uh, f has for us to do. It's a task maybe he even called us to do. Uh, and we, and we, we take our eyes off of it and we move on to something else. We get, we get so easily distracted, I think. Uh, and I don't know if that's just the information age that we live in uh, with where our cell phone and, and uh, we're, we're so distracted by, by, by the news, by, by Facebook, by, by whatever someone else is doing. Uh, and and it's, it's hard to find time to, to just for yourself. I, I think it's important, and I, I've started doing this lately, is, is literally set down my phone and walk away from it and, and take a break. Uh, maybe it's just uh, 30 minutes or an hour uh, during your day. You just got to leave it, leave it alone, you know, not just, just let go of things a little bit. Um, and, and sometimes uh, when, we, when we feel like we're not making progress, uh, in, a, in a situation, we get discouraged. And I don't know, maybe you, you're, you don't, you're not like me and you don't get discouraged, but, but often we get discouraged. And I, I found this, this verse in, in Philippians 1, verse 6, and we all know that verse, but it says, being confident of this very thing. We, we can be confident of this thing, it says. And, and it says that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it. And, and so we can say that together. You know, God has begun a good work in me. And he will perform it. He's going to work it out in my life. In other words, what he's doing in me, he'll work out into my life if I'll, if I'll, if I'll just keep going, if I'll just keep walking towards him. <laughs> I mean, we can all get excited when we think, well, God's going to accomplish something, right? God's going to give me something great. God's going to do something awesome for me. <laughs> but, but, but when we get, we, we always get tired when we don't see anything happening. Uh, and, and then we can add in there uh, in this verse, Galatians 6, verse 9, it says, Let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. In other words, we're going to reap if we don't faint. If we don't stop, we will reap what God is trying to work out of us. Okay? Does that make sense? We're going to work out. God is going to work something out of our life if we don't stop. So, so don't get weary. All right? <laughs> I, mean, I, I wrote this down. Weary, weary, and weary, and well in doing. Let me say it again. Weary in doing uh, is is like f uh, fainting at harvest time, because if you faint when you're trying to harvest, you're not going to reap. Okay, so there's no reaping. Okay, if you stop doing what God has called you to do, uh, are we? Got, the real question, I guess, is: Are we going to be faithful and obedient? Are we going to be faithful and obedient? See, God is faithful. He's faithful in me, right? I got saved. Jesus came into my heart. He is faithful in me. But is, is, is that, is, is, <laughs> he's faithful in me. Am I going to be faithful letting him come out of me? I guess that's the question. The, the test is in the testimony, right? The, the test is in the testimony. So when I begin to speak about what God is doing in my life, uh, I, I got I to gotta understand that God, I got to let God be glorified and let every man be a liar. I got I to gotta trust God. Amen. And th th let me give you another word. God. God. That we, we have to make a choice. All of us have to make a choice tonight. And that choice is very simple. Am I going to follow God or I, am I going to do what I want to do? Am I going to do what, uh, what feels good or what, all of those things? But I, I have to choose to follow God, right? I have to choose to follow Jesus. Uh, I got to I got to choose to follow him in my circumstances. Uh, whatever circumstances that that I have in my life. Uh, <laughs> you see God is not my ability or my understanding. God is God. 
See, the question is, what do we believe? Do we really believe that God is able to do things in my life? Do we really believe that God is, is, is going to fulfill a promise? Do we believe God is going to be faithful in my life? Do we, do we be really believe that? See, I, I, I think that there's, this is true. I think most of the time, we, we, or at least if we're willing to admit it, we get stuck. We get stuck, or what feels like we get stuck, we get stuck in a rut, all right? We're stuck in a rut, and I could write a song about that, but we're stuck in a rut, and a rut is just simply a, a grave with both ends kicked out, and we just keep going down the same path, doing the same thing, and, and expecting God to show up and, and lift me up out of the, the rut that I'm in, to take me up out of the, the rut. But see, that's not the, 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 the thing is, is that I believe that we're stuck because we stop, all right? We only get stuck because we stop. We only get stuck because we take our eyes off of what God is trying to do. God is trying to do something through us and in us and, and for us. And, 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 and we get into that process and we get discouraged. We get weary in well-doing and we, 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 we no longer want to let God be God in our life. And we forget that He's faithful in us and that He wants to work out our salvation, work out our, the plan that He has for my life. And, and we must, we must begin, begin to grow. Let, let the Word of God come in and grow us up out of the rut that we're in. Okay? Grow up out of the rut. Uh, uh, stop stopping what God is trying to do in your life. Uh, uh, Romans 3, verse 4, it says, it says, let God be true, right? So the, the, the truth is that the Word of God is the truth of God, and it is, the, the, it, it is true. See, I have to believe that what He said is true, and that He will be faithful to fulfill what he said he would do. The promise in my life will come to pass. Amen? And we must believe that. Uh, uh, God, God is the one that's going to justify it. God is the one that's going to fulfill his word. It's, if, if God is not a liar, right? And, and, and that's what that verse says. It says, let God be true and let uh, every, man, uh, uh, every man be a liar. Uh, is, is, is so true because... The lies that we believe or the truth that we believe in us is not the truth that God is speaking in, in, to us. For, even tonight, he's speaking truth to us, right? But I'm supposed to be an overcomer. <laughs> I love that word overcomer because the, the, the reason that I can say that word is because my faith. What, is, who, what, what causes us to be an overcomer is our faith, our belief that God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above and beyond all I can think ask or even imagine God is able to do in my life and he's going to do it because he is faithful and because he's God and we place our faith in that and 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 we stop stopping or 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 we get so sick and tired of being stuck that we stop stopping what God is trying to do amen <laughs> it's time to start not stop I'm, I'm going to tell you this. I, I feel this really strongly. It's time to start doing what God has said. Uh, I, I, like, I like this. Let me give you another, uh, uh, another phrase. Not a word. It's really powerful to me when you think about it. Elijah standing before the children of Israel and he says, I, I imagine him standing there maybe on a little hill or something with both hands out and he says, he says how long do you stop between two opinions? You know, are you going to be... Are you going to believe God or are you going to believe these other guys over here? I'm by myself here and there's 450 of them. How, 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 how long are we going to stand here? You know, uh, between uh, this or that. See, between the old man or the old way of doing things or, or what God is asking me to do. And I, I believe though that that very thing God is asking you to do is already in your hand. In other words, he's already given it to you. You already have in your hand the task that God wants you to grow up out of, okay, or grow through, or or become um, more more than you ever thought you could be. And this, it, and and you're stuck. You're just sitting there. What do I do now? What do I do now, God? I don't believe you. I I'm, I I don't think it's supposed to be this way. I, I wish my life was different. I wish something else would have happened. I wish this could have been or that could have been. I, I, I'm going to tell you, you got to come to a place where you give that to God and you let God be God in that. And you trust him. Say, God, I don't understand this, but I'm going to believe you. I don't, I don't agree with you, God, but I'm going to follow you anyways because I know that you're God and I'm going to believe what you're doing. 
and I'm gonna I'm gonna begin to grow in my relationship with God, and and I believe that you got the the ele only elevator that's gonna get me out of this situation is is you God, and I'm gonna trust you with that, and we begin to walk that out. But but <laughs> sometimes <laughs> sometimes silence is the best option. But I'm gonna tell you in this situation, all right, uh, God is asking us to speak up. He's asking for your opinion. Are you going to stop? Or are you going to be happy where you are? Or are you going to grow? Are you going to grow? And, and I guess the question really is, do you really want to grow? Do you really want to be whole? Do you really want to be healed? Do you really want to be a witness? Do you really want to be a testimony? Do you really want God to really work in your life? Or you just want to continue to complain about what's going on? <laughs> That's a good question for you. <laughs> <laughs> but but why why is it that we get so silent? I I, want, I wonder uh, what would happen if we would begin to speak up and speak out the word of God even to our own situations and begin to look at it uh, and 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 really digest it and say, God, I, I don't understand, I don't agree with it, but but I trust you, God, and I'm I I know that you love me, and I know that you're 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 my savior. And I know that your grace is sufficient for me. I know that you have enough mercy to cover all of this. But I, and I don't understand it. I don't agree with it. But I'm going to trust you anyway. So I'm just going to walk that out. I'm going to, I'm going to begin to say to you, God, I believe. I believe that you're able, God, to do something with this. I, I'm going to trust you with it. I, I, I like this uh, verse in 2 Timothy 2.15. It says, Study to show yourself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the, the word of truth. In that uh, we have to study to show ourselves approved. In other words, uh, I, I believe we got we to gotta, we gotta make time to take the word in every day. We got to make time to begin to pray. We got to make time to begin to minister out what God is giving us. Because you cannot, you cannot flow in the word of God. You can't be a Christian if what's in you never comes out of you. See, see, I think that's the problem. We, 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 we want everything for ourselves and we want to give nothing away. So why would God give you anything if you're never going to give anything away? See, see then, it, then it becomes, uh, it's, a, it's a selfish motivation or, or a, 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 try, we're trying to manipulate God to get something that we really want. When, when God is trying to give us something better than that, something greater than that, something uh, uh, greater, and it may not even be for you, it may be for your neighbor, it may be for someone you don't know halfway around the world, but God is trying to do something, amen? And I don't understand what he's doing maybe all the time, and that's okay if we don't understand, but, but what, isn't, what isn't okay is when we're silent, when we don't believe, because that's what that, what, when, when, when the children of Israel were silent, it was because they didn't believe or they were scared or they were or fearful. And, 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 and we need to grow up out of that. Stop being stuck, being afraid, being afraid that it's not going to look like I think it should look or is, God is going to do something different than what I think he should do. He, he wants to do something. Whatever that something is, is, is it's, it's up to him, not up to me. It's not up to you either. It's up to him. And, and to, to allow him to allow him to begin to, to flow through my life is, is the only way that I can ever come up out of whatever it is that we're in. Uh, I, 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 I like that. <laughs> I only, it's, it, uh, Elijah said, I only, like, like I'm standing here, it's just me, and there's 450 of them. And, and he went on and, uh, you know, they, they put the sacrifice on the altar and they even poured water over Elijah's and, and uh, Elijah even taunted the, uh, the, the prophets and said, you know, maybe, maybe your God has gone out and stepped out and he's, you know, using the restroom right now. And he went on and on about things like that. But, but the only God that answered by fire was the same God that we serve here tonight. The same God I'm speaking of. He is able to do things in your life. Amen. Oh, I just want to wrap up our time together tonight. Uh, I have so much more that I could talk about. But uh, I, I just want to wrap it up. And I want to say, <laughs> it's kind of a song. I want to say, don't stop believing. Okay, because the problem is, is that even though it doesn't look like what I think it should look like, we should not stop believing that God is at work. That God is doing something and, and, and He's longing to do something. Just, let me just say it like this just don't stop. Don't stop 
and and what if it what if it what if we we're on the doorstep or on the brink of a breakthrough in your life and you stop and you turn around what if you what if what if you're just one step away or one one more step or one more day or or maybe it's uh, another year you got to go but 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 don't stop i want to go through and i want to i want to be victorious i want to be like david i want to i want to not only uh, knock my enemies down, but I want to take his head and parade it around. Okay, I want to be victorious, and, and I think the world needs a Christian. He needs he needs someone who's going to be victorious in this life. Right? Uh, don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop your faith. Don't stop your faith from believing God for things that you don't see now. Don't don't stop taking in the Word of God into your life. Don't stop praying. Don't stop listening. Don't stop growing. Grow yourself up out of it. Grow up out of it. Just, just focus on growing, right? Don't stop demonstrating. Don't stop demonstrating. In other words, don't stop living out what is living inside of you. <laughs> Because God is alive, right? We, Peter calls us lively stones. In other words, we're supposed to be uh, a, a, a full of life. The, the life of Jesus Christ is in us. We're supposed to be alive. Uh, <laughs> let, let, me just, let me just say it like this. As a Christian, as, as a church goer, I think we get, we get stuck because we want the gift, but we don't want the fight. And, and Paul said it. He said, I have fought the good fight of faith. I have finished the course, right? I have fought the good fight of faith. I, I, I want to add to that, though, the, the word anger. Because uh, uh, the Bible says, it says to be angry but don't sin. Uh, and we, we, we always take that as a Christian. We always take that and we say, oh, anger is bad. I should never be angry. But... But anger is really an emotion that God gave us, and He gave it to us for two reasons. The one, the one reason is to run. Sometimes we need to run away. Other times, it's for fighting, okay? Because when you get angry, you're able to fight like you've never fought before because you have a certain strength that comes on you. It's, uh, uh, you know, your adrenaline kicks in. You can lift cars off uh, babies, and you can run through a burning building. You, could, you can do things you wouldn't normally do. But what if you took the, the anger, right? And you got angry enough at the situation that you've been fighting for all these years or all these moments or all these times, and you said, you know what? You're the reason. That, that's the problem. And you get, you get angry about it and you use it to fight the good fight. Like Paul said, I fight the good fight. I f I'm going to finish the course. I'm going to allow God to do whatever it is He wants to do in my life, and I'm going to fight this, this tendency that I have to, to shrink back, this, this tendency that, that I have to, to go back to whatever is familiar, this tendency that I have to stay in the familiar rut. And I'm going to fight that, that, that tendency, that, that circumstance, that thing so hard that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something different. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to literally use, that, use my faith. And I'm gonna I'm gonna take in the word of God. I'm gonna I'm gonna strengthen my relationship with God, and I will become who I have never been before, because I know by faith that God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above and beyond everything I can think or imagine, and we will rise up. I, I think we got to get so angry that we'll fight the fight and rise up out of whatever that is that's holding us back so that we can truly see and experience a breakthrough. Not only just in our own life, but I'm going to tell you, it's not about you and it's not about me. It's about what God wants to do through all of us together. When we all come together as a body of Christ and begin to lift up His name in my world, in my life, in my circumstance, and, and begin to lift it up, we could, we could stand with Paul one day and say, I, I too have fought the good fight and I have finished the course and I am not who I used to be. What, I used, what used to hold me back will no longer hold me back. What, what used to uh, make me look away will, will no longer cause me to look away. I will, I will only look and focus on you. Let me, let me just pray right now for us. Father, I just pray, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you would touch hearts and lives of those that are under the sound of my voice right now, God, and that you would give us the courage 
<laughs> to be strong and to fight the good fight, Lord, to, to begin to work out what you have pl already placed in us, God. And I just thank you, Lord, that you are doing a great, a great thing in us, that you have begun a good work in us. And Lord, that you will complete it because you're faithful, Lord. And Lord, I, ch I, I just ask that you would challenge us and Lord, set, set a space and a time around, around about our lives, God, right now. Lord, that we would have a chance to grow up out of whatever it is that holds us back. In Jesus' name, forgive us, Lord. Come into our heart fresh and new. Strengthen us in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Amen. God bless you. Have a great night.